So dear sisters and distinguished gentlemen, my engagement started uh, during the delisting process. And um, I informed colleagues during that time in the Finnish parliament about your movement and about the hardship you were going through. I put questions to the Finnish government and I had as a member of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee in the Finnish Parliament the opportunity to go to the State Department in Washington together with a colleague who has also been here, Kimo Sassi, and um, not only hoping but uh, something more to have PMOI removed from the blacklist. And you know it, it happened. Madame Rajavi was also in Finland in 2010 and the ban was later lifted. And that is how it started in my case. So after that, I had, uh, I had the opportunity to go to Paris and to Berlin. And when this invitation came to come here, I had something in the agenda, but I answered, whatever I have in my agenda, I will see to to move it, because I really wanted to see this with my own eyes. The camp is impressive, the support is impressive, and after having followed all the, of the difficult, difficulties you've had, the atrocities in the camp, in Camp Liberty and Camp Ashraf, I am very, very happy to see what it is like here. You have already heard it from so many. I would here like to highlight two questions, and the one is minority autonomy. I come from the Åland Islands, some 6,500 islands between Sweden and Finland. We speak all Swedish, we are all Swedes, but we belong to Finland. We have autonomy. It was a conflict that was settled by the League of Nations in Geneva in 1921. It is studied by a lot of minorities around the world. The Kurds have been many times, for example, to the Åland Islands. So I was very happy to hear Madame Rajavi say uh, or outline the future for minorities on her, in her speech the first day. Uh, and so that is how I envisage it. It will be for the minorities in the free Iran. The minority rights will be respected. And all what you have achieved so far here, that is under the leadership of a woman, Madame Rajavi. Women are the force for change. And part of this is CEDAW, the CEDAW Convention. And you rightfully um, invited one of the members of the committee of the CEDAW Convention here. She spoke yesterday. She left this morning. And you also make reference to the CEDAW Convention. I have myself as member of the Constitutional Commission in the Parliament, been in the Finnish delegation twice uh, in uh, when Finland had to answer the question of the CEDAW um, uh, Treaty. And what is what does CEDAW mean? It means the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. And it is the most important document. It's a legally binding document that has been adopted by the United Nations in 1979. It's the International Bill of Rights for Women. US, the United States of America, was one of the first to sign it and now nearly all has ratified it. Many states now ratified it with restrictions. And that is, of course, not acceptable. It is very criticized, but it makes it possible to have a dialogue. So we should not refuse it at all, I think. A few have not ratified it, and that is, of course, Iran, and that goes without saying for obvious reasons, but there are others, Somali, Sudan, and the United States of America. Finland, that I represent, was the, uh, the, that's the country where women had full political rights as the first country in the world. 
You both had the right to vote and to stand in the elections. It was the first country that had majority of women in the government. It was the first country to have a, a woman as the Assistant Secretary General in the United Nations system. It was the first country to have a female majority in the government. This is just the beginning. I can continue like this for an hour with the long list of, of records from Finland, and I'm very proud of it. But I'm saying this to, to come to the fact that we, despite all this, we are still ready to be checked, scrutinized, we have to report, we are criticized, we are defending ourselves, we are trying to change, etc. We are in the process of the CEDAW Convention, and I think that is extremely important because, and it's extremely important that you invited here a member of the committee, and she said, uh, the member of the committee who was here, she said that all Madame Rajavi's 10 points is in line with the CEDAW Convention and the work of the committee. So I would say that all women have to unite along these lines, to, uh, 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 all, along all the lines of CEDAW, no matter from which country we come. Thank you very much, and let us continue the fight for freedom with the power of women.